Hello, and welcome to video 14 of our Flipped History series. This video has two learning intentions. The first learning intention is to describe warfare amongst the French, their allies, and the Iroquois. And the success criteria is, I can describe warfare amongst the French, the native groups, and explain the consequences of the war. The second learning intention is to judge the impact of the arrival on the Ca of the Carignan Salier Regiment. And the success criteria is, I can explain the causes and consequences of the arrival of the Carignan Salier Regiment. With the value of beaver fur increasing in North America, the Iroquois once again tried to get in on the fur trade. There began a series of conflicts between the French, their allies, and the Iroquois. The traditional interpretation is that this war was fought over access to the fur trade. The source of furs for the Iroquois had begun to dry up, and they needed uh, another source to start to profit again. So the Iroquois became more and more of a threat. This threat was compounded by the fact that they began to acquire uh, firearms from the Dutch. So the French, on the other hand, would not um, trade guns to their native allies, even if they had converted to Christianity. This put them at uh, a significant disadvantage against the Iroquois. The Iroquois began to threaten um, French settlements like Montreal and Trois-Rivières, which were attacked in 1642. This had a strong impact on the French fur trade. A um, merchant reports, for a year, the warehouse of Ville-Marie has not brought in a single beaver skin. At Trois-Rivières, the little revenue that has accrued has been used to fortify the place, the enemy being expected there. In the Quebec warehouse, there is nothing but poverty. The Iroquois are hindering the trading of beaver skin, which has been always been one of this country's greatest riches. Women feared that their men, when they went out to farm, would be uh, attacked and murdered by Iroquois raiders, and the situation in the colony was one of feeling constantly under threat. This was one of the reasons why the colony was not settled to the extent that um, the company had hoped, the fear of attack. In 1649, the French's greatest um, Aboriginal ally, the Huron, were destroyed by an army of 1,200 Iroquois uh, warriors. Two Jesuits, Jean de Brébeuf and Gabriel Lallemand, were um, martyred uh, by the Iroquois, and there were a number of uh, refugees were scattered from Huronia. Some joined the Iroquois, Others moved west and joined other native groups, while a further number of refugees moved with um, the Jesuits all the way to uh, Quebec, where they were settled at Lorette. And even to this day, their descendants continue to live there. The Iroquois then proceeded to um, take their campaign against other allies of the French. They uh, destroyed the Patoons, the Nipissings, and scattered the Algonquins. They ranged throughout the Ottawa Valley, and they even managed to threaten Quebec in 1650. There was a brief period of peace afterwards, as the um, French sought to um, trade with the Iroquois. However, this peace was not to last. And once again, the Iroquois began to threaten the French. So in 1665, the French responded by sending regular or professional soldiers to New France. This was the Carignan Salier Regiment. These soldiers were battle-hardened veterans, having previously fought the Ottoman Turks. They came to New France and immediately set up uh, forts along the Richelieu uh, River, but in the first winter did not fight the Iroquois. The next year, they f moved further south and 
found a number of Iroquois villages that were um, abandoned. The French set fire to them and um, destroyed a number of the Iroquois' uh, grain resources. The result was that for the moment this ended the Iroquois threat. The Iroquois would uh, not consider attacking the French when they were there in such large and armed uh, numbers.